Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Um, this is the class number seven. So it means that we have 13 classes, 13 classes mass, and we finish. So welcome back. Um, here we have some participants. For example, here we have David. Hello, David. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, thank you. Guillermo, how do you do? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Well, I'm perfect. Thank you for asking. Well, and we're going to continue with this uh, program. Remember, 20 classes, 20 classes, but we are in class number um, seven. Okay. So let's see what do we have here. Noe, good evening. Welcome back, my friend. How are you? Hi, hi teacher. I'm great. Good evening, everyone. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. Sounds really good. Daniel, hello. Hi, Hello, how are you tonight? Um, I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, excellent. That's really good. Well, uh, tonight we have class number seven, how to use can and could. Okay, very important words that we're going to use in, in this class. Okay, can and could. This is the class number seven. Mm, remember that on Monday we're going to finish unit two. So I recommend you to continue completing the homeworks. So you you're not going to accumulate uh, the the homeworks. Okay. Here we have this. When was the last time you argue? Okay. Um, we have different words for example discuss is a eh, discutir en inglés realmente discuss no significa discutir como en español cuando nosotros decimos acá que pues eh, permítame I'm sorry, I have some difficulties with the sign up. Well, um, I was saying that this cause is something relaxed in English. In Spanish, when we say, ah, me discutí con el jefe. Mm, sounds like very, like a conflict or a problem. But in English, this cause is similar to debate or to talk over, okay? To talk about something. Eso es eh, discuss in English. Hablar sobre algo. Mm, maybe we can discuss the menu of this week. Maybe we can discuss our vacations. Podemos discutir sobre las vacaciones. But argue is to talk seriously about something and to defend your position, defend your opinion. Entonces, cuando decimos argue, es como discutir. Si ustedes dicen, I argued with my boss today. Discutí con mi jefe, pero discutir a nivel de, de pelea verbal, ¿verdad? En cambio, discuss, debate, es algo más relax. So, in this case, we can feel mad, upset, angry. Nos podemos sentir como un poco molestos, enojados, incómodos, cuando nosotros argue, cuando utilizamos eso, ¿verdad? So, when was the last time you argued? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que ustedes discutieron? Let's see. Solo quiero que me digan si fue hace dos días, uh, two days ago, uh, si fue la semana pasada, last week, last month, puede ser uh, two, three, years ago or something like that 
I need you to write one of these um, adverbs, okay? I'm going to write this. In the chat, please. Solo quiero que me digan esto. Cualquiera. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que ustedes discutieron? When was the last time you argued? I'm going to wait for the chat opinions. Okay, let's see the answers. Okay, here we have Daniel last month. Solo puede ser last month o puede ser a month ago. Carlos last week, last weekend, two days ago. Guillermo el más recent. Recent. Wow. Uh, two days ago, right? Noel last week. Last time I argued was the... Oh, Elias, this day. Okay. Um, Graciela, last week, on Monday. David, last week, last month. Jose, two days ago. Maritza, two days ago. Eh, Evelyn, every day. Come on. Every day arguing. Okay. I'm going to check this later. Adi, one day ago. Okay. So, uh, when we have some differences with a partner, a colleague, your supervisor, your boss, or in your family, or especially with neighbors, con los vecinos. Maybe at least one time you have had differences with your neighbor. So uh, there are some neighbors that are, they are calm, but there are some others that are problematic. So we're going to talk about this later. Quería saber hace cuánto habían tenido este relajo. So we know when was the last time you have some difficulty. Well, now you are here. Here we have um, some useful phrases. Uh, frases que son útiles. Here we have from 11 to 20. Here we have you blew it. Blue. Similar to color blue. You blew it. Next. Everything is fine. Next, did you get my point? And next, what do you want from me? Uh, I did not understand. You can say I didn't understand as well. Glad to help. It's my duty. Not a problem. Good for you. I knew you could do it. I knew, como que si fuera nuevo eso. I knew you could do it. I'm going to repeat again. Please remember to select one that maybe it's interesting or, yeah, or maybe uh, took your attention. You blew it. Everything is fine. Did you get my point? What do you want from me? I did not understand. Glad to help. It's my duty. Not a problem. Good for you. I knew you could do it. Okay, so I'm going to check the attendance list. Remember to say hi, hello, good evening. I'm here. And then select one of these phrases in English. We are going to start with Adi. Are you there, Adi? Um, cualquiera, teacher. Hello. Yes. Okay. The one that you prefer. Present, everything, everything is fine. That sounds good. Thank you. Ana Cristina, do we have Ana Cristina? Okay, I don't know if Ana is there. Uh, Elias. Hi, Elias. Hi, teacher. Okay, good evening. Okay. Good evening. Um, not a problem. 
Ah, uh, yeah, not a problem. Good. And here we have Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Did you get my pond? Perfect. Thank you. Claudia Marcela. Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Hello. Hi, I'm here. Oh, okay, my friend. Tell me one of these phrases. Thank you. You still do it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. David? Present teacher. Hi, David. Not a problem. Perfect. Doris? Good evening. Hi, Doris. Okay, tell me one what, phrase. What do you want from me? Okay. Qué real se escuchó eso. Very real. Thank you. Evelyn? First thing I knew you called it. Thank you, Graciela. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Graciela. Did you get my point? Okay, thank you. Guillermo. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. It's Don't my miss. duty. Yeah. Uh, Jose Andres. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, Jose. Good evening. Uh, everything is fine. Nice, thank you. John? Hello I there. Am here. I am here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. And um, nice. I shoes. Everything is fine. Perfect. Katia? Hello, good evening. Yeah. Good Hi. for you. Thank you. Maritza? Present. Hi, Maritza, please. I knew, I knew, knew you could do it. Thank you. Very nice. Marvin, are you there? Okay, no Marvin. No problem. Very nice. Uh, Noe? Present. Not a problem. Thank you. Gustavo? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay. Oscar. Present. Uh, I did not understand. Good one. Uh, Rosalie. Good evening. Hi, I Rosalie. knew you could do it. Perfect. Susie, are you there? Okay. And uh, we go with Teresa. Present teacher. Good for you. Thank you. Okay, good for you. And here we have these phrases that maybe one could be applied for any for any conversation or opinions. Okay. And the first question is, do you often argue? And the other is, what do you usually argue about? We answered this question previously. When you say, uh, how uh, do you often argue? Uh, a menudo discuten. Okay. Yeah, could it be? Yes, two days ago. Yes, because uh, last weekend we argued and so on. Okay. So, what do you usually argue about? De que normalmente discutimos? Uh, about work, about home, with friends. Uh, could it be with couple? Con la pareja, yeah. Duties, los deberes, tareas que tienen que ser. Maybe some neighbors have loud music or you have problems with the parking in your neighborhood. That's another big problem. El parqueo en, en, en los vecindarios, right? Yeah, a lot of things. So you tell me, what do you consider is the, 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 the topic or the thing that you argue about, okay? So maybe we ha we can have some volunteers, at least five volunteers. Could it be really important, okay? We're going to start with Carlos. Okay, Carlos, tell me, my friend. Okay, teacher, in my opinion, we should not talk about politics, religion, and soccer to avoid discussion. 
Okay, thank you. Very interesting point of view. We shouldn't talk about politics, religion, and which one is the other topic that you mentioned? Soccer. Soccer. Ah, soccer. Yeah, it is very common that uh, we have differences with some, say, related to soccer teams, related to especially the score or the selecta salvadoreña. There are some yes. other. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you mentioned one of, well, some of the main topics that we usually have uh, arguing, especially maybe in your case. Thank you. What about uh, Guillermo and Noé? Mm, well, uh, I don't mm, argue really often, but okay. sometimes in, when I'm working, I argue with the customer because they want something and it is impossible to do it. So it's a little bit complicated to talk with the customer. I know. Uh, Guillermo, how much time have you worked with customer or clients? I guess one or two years, you said the last time, right? Mm, almost six years. Oh, six years. I'm sorry. Well, and you have a lot of experience because we have good clients and customers, but there are some customers that are really difficult, right, Guillermo? Yes. They, they want to the solution quickly and they shout or yell. Gritan a veces. They, they, they uh, yeah, they are very heavy, hard, or rude, right? So sometimes I guess you have patience, but you have limits, right, with your patience. Yes. Well, my boss uh, said uh, I have a lot of patience with the clients. Well, that's uh, a positive aspect and very necessary in your job, Guillermo. Thank you. Thank you for, for uh, explaining that. Guillermo, uh, related to his job, especially with some customers. Okay. Noé and Adi. Hello, teacher. Well, Where? in my case, and it was the last week what, with a customer. Um, I was fixing a car and they tell me, why you don't fix the car really quickly? And I <laughs> tell him, I don't know. I'm technician, yes, but I don't know the fast man in the world. And yeah. So he, she was, yeah, she mad with me. And then we are, he, he, we, we have a really big problem, but... Yeah, and it's similar to the, 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 the customer, difficult customers, right, now. In your case, that man wanted the car fixed quickly. Yes. Like, I, I don't know. So that's kind of difficult. And yeah, because the, the cars are sometimes depends on the on the cars, right? Every car is different, yeah. different problems. Yeah, so that's it. And... Mm, there are also some cases in which the clients that they are they are not paying too much, but they are very rude and they ask yeah, for attention. Yeah. Okay, good point, Noe. Another person talking about his job and how difficult it is to hang uh, or to deal with customers. Okay, and that's the verb when you deal cuando ustedes tratan eh, cuando utilizamos el deal se refiere a lidiar o pues a, incluso solucionar deal with hard customers okay so i guess some of you have this yeah it is difficult to deal with hard customers but it's part of our job and uh, the maybe the, the form in which they express is not the correct one. Anyway, thank you. Uh, we go with Adi and Evelyn. Okay, Adi. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Adi. Do you are often? No, I almost never argue. 
What do you usually are about with my family? I discuss taking the dirty dishes uh, to the dish, the shower. Okay. In so, my work, okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. In my work, there are usually no arguments with my friend. We discuss it, agreeing to go out for a walk. Okay, that's good because uh, maybe you can discuss with your friends what movie you want to to to, to watch or to yeah to, to see at the theater. But arguing and maybe at home, there are some differences, especially with housework or the house chores. One example: washing the dishes, right? I guess uh, as you mentioned, cooking, cleaning vacuuming, mopping, eh, a lot of things. And so maybe we can have that difference. I'm not talking about fight, but, right? But yeah, we have differences. Okay, thank you, Adi. You look very patient. Te ves muy paciente, Adi. But I don't know, maybe if you pass your limits, maybe it could be kind of dangerous. Maybe, maybe. Yes, this is it. Thank you, Adi. Evelyn, please. Tell us about you. Do you often art eat every day? Okay, why you, every day? Well, do you usually add a book at work? I usually delete at work because of the position I hold with is a supervisor. Okay, yeah. You are a supervisor. Your position is delicate. It's complicated because you are in charge of people, right? So you argue especially with your employees, with, with, with your team, con tu equipo, or with customers? Team, with team. Okay, thank you. So um, with the team, yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, I have I have been fully employee and I have been supervisor and coordinator. So I know that there are some people that they have difficulties or problems following instruction. So that's a big problem when you are you have a, a higher position and you are in charge of okay i'm going to uh, show you something before we continue others of expression no sé si ya se los enseñaron estos but anyway i'm going to show you because i consider it's really important and here we have adverbs of frequency eh, no pensaba mostrarlos pero ya que estamos hablando de la frecuencia Cuando les pregunten qué tan a menudo, how often do you something, you can say, I always argue. I often argue. I usually argue. I sometimes argue. I hardly ever, hardly, como Harley Quinn o Harley Davidson. Harley, ok. No se pronuncia la D. Hardly ever or never. Always 100%, often 90%, usually 70%, sometimes 50%. Hardly ever, 10%, never, 0%. Ahora, si les preguntan, how often? I recommend you to write down this. When you listen this, how often? You are asking cuán a menudo o qué tan seguido hacen algo, qué tan frecuente. Example. How often do you check your mail? How often do you check your mail? How often uh, do you send reports uh, just examples okay so uh, you can say how often mm, 
every day. Look at this. Pueden decir every day. Aquí está. Every week, every month, every year. Están diciendo todos los días, cada, cada semana, cada mes o cada año. Or you can say this. Once a month, una vez al mes. Twice a month, three times a month, four times a month. Or once a day, once a week, once a month, once a year. You can say any of this. Okay. So um, let's see. Vamos a hacer una oración más extensa. Vamos a utilizar. I. I usually argue at home. I sometimes argue at my workplace. I never argue. Okay, let's... Uh, Type some sentences. Vamos a escribir un par de oraciones, dependiendo qué tan, a, qué tan a menudo, cuán a menudo ustedes discuten, ¿ok? Utilizando frequency adverbs. O pueden hacerlo de esta manera también. Sorry. I'm trying to look for this. Uh, you can say. Les estoy, Adi, les estoy tapando la imagen acá poquito. Un poquito, ahí ya no. Ok, aquí. Or you can say, la otra opción es, every week. Como decía Evelyn, I argue every day. Or I argue twice a month, okay? Let's uh, listen to some of your sentences and you are uh, learning how to use adverbs of frequency. Pueden utilizar ya sea los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿verdad? O también esos otros adverbios, ¿verdad? Every day, every week, every month. Adverbios de tiempo. Once a, a, a week, once a month. Aquí ya les puse un ejemplo. Cualquiera de esos dos puede ser de esta manera o de esta manera. Ok. I'm going to wait for your answers. Okay, let's uh, read some of your sentences. Let's see. Okay, Adi, please read your sentence. Recuerden que el verbo es argue. Bien raro, ¿verdad? Argue. argue. Adi, and then Oscar, please. I often. I often argue at home. Thank you. No pelees en casa. Oscar en Graciela, please. I usually argue at work. 
Good one. Eh, Graciela en Noé. I usually argue at my workplace. Good, thank you. Eh, Noé en Guillermo. I sometimes argue at my workplace. Thank you. Guillermo en Adi again. Okay. Sorry, teacher. No. <laughs> okay. Guillermo. I argue every day at work. Yeah, well, every day. It's kind of complicated. Rosalie and John. I uh, usually argue with my husband. Come on, Rosalie, poor of your husband. Usually is algo común. Usually, okay. No problem, Rosalie. John, okay. I, I never drink beer because it's bad for my health. Thank you. Um, utilizaste bien el frequency adverb, pero no me utilizaste el verbo argue, but it's okay. Thank you. Estamos utilizando el adverbio de frecuencia y eso me, me, me alegra. That's really positive, so I'm happy with that. Teresa and David. I every day argue with my boss. Really? Okay. And yeah. come on. David and Elias. Uh, I always coffee every day in the morning. Okay. What about Elias and Katia? I usually argue at home. Thank you, Katia and Rivas. I usually arrive like hours. Come on, Katia. Come on. Come I usually on. argue at my work at me workplace. Thank you. And Daniel, please. Okay. Yeah, I never argue with my friends. Thank you. So if you notice, now you know how to use adverbs of frequency, okay? Then we continue with this, and here we have a conversation from the manual. And here we have Linda and Juan. If you notice, the, here we have uh, words in bold. Can, could, can, could. In the case of could, uh, letter O and letter L are silent. You don't have to pronounce. So, could. Okay, here we go. Uh, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 CU. FT, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me the information about the guarantee? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the guarantee? Thanks. The guarantee for it is for the guarantee of it is for y así comienza a darle la indicación. So. Ken is using or asking something. Se está utilizando Ken para pedir algo. Especially information or favors. Okay. So in this case, we're going to practice um, this. I, I hope somebody can please send the maybe Adi or, or Elias was uh, were helping with the screenshot. Okay. Do we have some difficulties? Thanks so much for calling. In a school center, normally they thank you for calling Spotlight Hotel. This is Josue, how can I help you? So that's why uh, Linda says, Linda is speaking. Okay. How can I help you? Mm, Pro Washer 5.2 CU. FT, que significa eh, pies cúbicos. Keyboard, keyboard. Ya, yeah, 
and that's it. Okay, my friends, we want to practice a little bit. So let's see who do we have here. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. information about the pro worship of course it has a capacity of 5.2 to <laughs> to be a turbo processor and a
Okay, hey, my friends, welcome back. Maybe we can have a uh, short participation. Maybe Noé can help us. Who was your classmate? Was Rosalie. Okay, Rosalie, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Please, go ahead. Okay, I'm beginning. Thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda, could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 52 QFT a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty or it is for... Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, good accent, Rosalie. And good questions, Noe. Completely. Hit the complete. Thanks. That's very nice. I like it. Okay. Thank you, my friends. Now here we have some questions related to the previous uh, um, conversation. Here we have this. And uh, maybe you can help us, Adi. Select one of these um, questions. Read it. And then we're going to answer. Uh, and read it. What does one want to buy? To buy. Mm -hmm. To buy. Yes. What do you think he wants to buy? Can you give me information? About? About the guarantee. Okay, but before guarantee, he was asking information about uh, some product. Okay. Pro? Pro washer. Yeah, pro washer. Thank you. So that's uh, maybe the product he wants to buy. And also he is asking about the warranty. Okay, thank you. We go now with Oscar. Maybe two or three, please. Uh, two. Okay. Uh, what question can you say instead of repeat? Okay. Instead of sin significa en lugar de o en vez de. Okay. So what question mm -hmm. instead of repeat? Uh, yeah. Maybe can you give information? Linda says, I'm Perfect. sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Do you have any idea, Oscar? Another form to say this. It's a poquito complicado, ¿verdad? Porque le dice, could you repeat that, please? ¿Podría repetir eso, por favor? Podría ser. Me podría decir, este, I can hear your question. I cannot oh. hear your question. Yeah, very nice. I can't hear your question. So, it is not a, a question, but the the, the agent is going to understand that. So he's going to say, mm -hmm. um, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And he repeats. Thank you, Oscar. Very good. It is not a question, but it is a form to say, I can't hear. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, instead of repeat, as in vez de... yes, uh, Jose, instead of, for example, Let's move to this. Uh, imagine you are in a restaurant and the waiter says, you are asking for pizza, pineapple pizza, Hawaiian pizza, está pidiendo pizza hawaiana. And the waiter says, I'm sorry, sir, we don't have Hawaiian pizza, but we have 
pepperoni pizza instead. So uh, he's giving you another option. Instead of Hawaiian pizza, you have pepperoni pizza. So that's it. Instead of. And maybe we can have the participation of um, maybe Guillermo number three. Or, mm, or the customer and the agent polite or impolite. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Polite or impolite? They are talking mm. relaxed, they are talking with respect, or they are not. Mm, for me, it's polite. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That's correct. They are they are saying in polite way. Um, but um, maybe they can use more could for polite way, but yes, they are not being rude. Tanto que has escuchado, ¿verdad, Guillermo? You have heard a lot of expressions. So, you, yeah, and this is very polite. Okay, let's move to the, the speaking activity that we were talking about. Maybe we can hear Jose and then John. Okay, Jose, what's your opinion about this? What do you usually argue about? Okay, teacher. Hello, good evening, guys. What's up? What's going on? In my case, teacher, uh, I usually or I rarely argue with my family here in the house, right, or at my workplace, right. In some cases, when I argue with my co-workers, right, it's because I did something wrong or a stupid thing, right, you know, stuff like that, right. When you you have a, mis a mistake, right, mm -hmm. generally, right, okay. here in my house, basically it's because I, I'm, I'm not a guy yet, you know, <laughs> so that's why most of the most of the time I usually argue with you. You can have some arguments. Okay, thank you. Very good example at home or at work, but very specific talking about some mistakes that you may 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 yeah do or perform or at home. Thank you. It was a very good example. We go now with John and then Katia. Okay, in my case, um, at work, um, at work, uh, hardly, I hardly ever argue. I always try to do my job without causing disablement. And at home, it's different. Uh, I often have conflict with my wife or some discussion levels. Yeah. And if you notice, if you try to do everything okay at, at work, so you're not going to have problems, right? But at home is different, as you mentioned, because there are some very small situations that can complicate, right? So maybe we can have arguments, right? Similar to Rosalie, she was saying that she has some mm -hmm. arguments with uh, her husband. Thank you, John. Very uh, exact answer. Katia and then Rosalie. Okay. That were always because supervisor do not allow the instructions. Mm -hmm. So you have some differences with the supervisor. Sometimes when a person is when a supervisor has may have problems with the, the team, but also the team with the supervisor. That is common as well. Okay, Rosalie and Daniel. In my case, I sometimes argue with my friends to agree to me. At work, hardly ever. And with my boss. <laughs> and yes. at home, usually with my husband, who doesn't put clothes in the laundry basket. Yeah. Rosalie, let me tell you that that's very common for men. We sometimes have problems depositing 
the clothes on the right place. It's one example. That is normal yeah. for us. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's, it's, I, I it's will the favorite. It's the favorite, I think. Yeah, well, John's favorite discussion, but let me tell you why Noe is saying that this is normal, because sometimes we can use again, we can wear again some clothes, right? Uh, women or girls say this is clean and this is dirty, but we say mm, this this may be gay, can be used again. We can wear that. Como que aguanta otro puesto. So that's why, Rosalie, that's why. Yeah, but... No, teacher, no. <laughs> no, it's not like that. No, yes. Okay. Maybe. So maybe that's another type of uh, discussion. But okay. Thank you for sharing. Daniel, please. And after Daniel, we go with Oscar. Um, okay. 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 Okay, yeah, it's very common that we have differences with the, the co-workers, with the colleagues, yeah. Uh, and it is a difficult and stressful situation daily. Oscar, please. Okay, I argue uh, at work uh, sometimes uh, because if I begin and argue in, in my house, Maybe I don't, I don't dinner this day. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is very possible that you're not going to have dinner. And then so you have to behave, behave well. Tienes que comportarte. Thank you, Oscar. Yes. Good example of prudence. Okay, and we continue later with this activity. Remember yesterday and um, the other days we were talking about past, um, Continuous, okay. Was working, were working, or negative wasn't working, were not working. Now we're going to practice question. In the these questions, we're going to use was at the beginning. Then we're going to use the subject pronoun that is this. And after this, we're going to use the verb with ing. Okay, I'm going to show you the. I'm going to show you the sentences. Okay, so I have a lot of sentences. Tengo muchas oraciones para ustedes. So please select one. Remember, we're going to work, we're going to type the verb be here. And here we're going to use the verb with ing. Okay, I'm going to give you some time so you can take a look at this. Okay, you tell me what uh, uh, sentence you want to complete. Questions. Maybe you can start with the the most the yeah the most practical. We're going to start with Gustavo and then David and then Noé. Okay, Gustavo. No le entendí, teacher, lo que íbamos a hacer. No problem. David, you have an idea? 
Vamos Okay, a utilizar teacher. question, Cualquier. forma de pregunta. Yes. Yes. Cualquiera. Yo, yo escojo la oración, teacher. Of course. Eh, Let... Number two. Uh -huh. eh, sería where, where they repairing the bike. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, we go with Noé and Daniel. Okay, number six. I think it's where Emma and Berta phoning their friend. Thank you. Okay, Daniel. So number eight. Doing good. Mm hmm. Guillermo, and then Rosalie. The number one was Ashley uh, working on the computer. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay, Rosalie. Mm, number Warm. three. Mm -hmm. Was, was Melissa taking out about about thank you very much Teresa and Graciela was Tyler talking with the cooking I, I'm sorry what number I always uh, mentioned oh, sorry, the... sorry. and the number 10 mm -hmm. was was Tyler talking with the cooking that's correct Graciela, and then we go with Gustavo. Number four, are you listening to music? Mm -hmm. Solo que aquí no utilizamos are, utilizamos. Yeah. Thank you, Gustavo. Eh, sería was the bear, the bear. Number seven. Number seven was the the girl the girl uh, opening the window. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Adi. Number five or nine. Okay, number five. Um, was. Nicolas looking at a picture. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. And here we have Maritza, number nine, please. Where the friends coming home from school. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maritza. Very nice. Okay. Simple. So we finished this topic. That's kind of easy. Bastante fácil, right? Here we have some other sentences. But in this case, we have to order like better. For example, I'm going to use five. Did you notice? I just add where at the beginning and then Helen and Anne and the verb ing. Okay, take a look at this and then you tell me. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can have an idea.
Okay. Daniel, you have one, right? And then we, ho we go with a uh, Jose Andres. Okay, Daniel, what number? The number one. Uh -huh. uh, museum. Museum. Bien raro esa pronunciación. Museum. Uh -huh. Museo. Museo. No. Uh -huh. Así se pronuncia. Museum. Very strange. Okay, we go with Elias and then Graciela. Um, number two, where you, all right, where you writing with a pencil. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Writing. Mm -hmm. La W acá es silent. No se pronuncia. Bien extraño también. So, writing. Right. Okay. Right. Como a okay. derecha. Thank you, Elias. Okay. Very good. Very good question. Graciela and Guillermo. Number four. Was Kimberly asking questions? Thank you. Uh... We go now where? Thank you, Graciela. Okay, let's listen to Noe. And then we go with Maritza. Okay, number eight. Was the girl sending files? Okay, but in this case, it's plural. Okay. Uh -huh. Were the girls, uh, yeah, you're right. Were the girls sending files? Thank you. Okay, Maritza and Guillermo. Number three, mm -hmm. where the boy reading comic. Thank you, Guillermo and Rosalie. Uh, was your sister making a lot of noise? Okay, six good. Thank you, and Rosalie. Was the teacher? Mama, 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 mama. Living the classroom. Yeah, living. Yeah, thank you. So if you know this, we have done. Thank you, my friends. We complete another grammar structure. If you notice, we have like very logical in this grammar stuff. Okay, we continue now with, let me tell you what. Okay, we're going to have some synonyms. We have this um, speaking time in pairs. We're going to use this. I need you to please have screenshot. Maybe Adi can help us sending this image. Here we have adjectives. Okay, here we have adjective and here we have the synonym. So here we have from one to 15. And here we have funny, funny and happy. Yes, Adi. Yes. But we're going to <laughs> we're going to work in pairs completing this, but yeah, that's correct. If you notice you have to follow your your logic. Sigan su, su, su sentido común. Sigan su corazón. Okay. So we're going to uh check this. See you in a moment, my friends.
Okay, my friends, let's complete this. Here we have the adjectives. You already know. But let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can start with Adi and then we go with David. Only one, teacher. Yes, only one. I know that you want to complete the 15, but only one. Okay. Um, wonderful, marvelous, marvelous. Okay. Thank you. Here we have marvelous. Thank you. Okay, David, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hi. You have uh, the... seria, seria number four. Number four. Awful. Awful. Mm -hmm. Terrible. 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 Okay. Terrible. We go with Katia. And then Noah. Okay. Um... Number six. Mm -hmm. Very big. Yeah. Oh. Huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huge. Okay, Noe and Teresa. Let me okay. see. Mm -hmm. Number nine, handsome, good looking. Nice. What about you, Teresa, and then Oscar? Uh, quiet silence. What number? Silence. Remember, always mention the number. Number 13. Number... Thir ah, 13. Yes, quiet. And... 13. Mm -hmm. And silence. Okay. What about you, Oscar? Uh, number 14, mm -hmm. easy, simple. Okay, here we have simple. And here we have easy. Okay, John, what about you? And then we go with Maritza. Number number eight, uh, funny. Mm -hmm. um, boring. Okay, funny is... Eh, gracioso. Boring sería aburrido. Mm, maybe we can find some other. Funny, divertido. Mm -hmm. Here we have some other example. Yeah. Here we have one word that is amusing. Amusing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very strange. Similar to fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go with Maritza and then Guillermo. Number 10. Mm -hmm. Doll and boring. Okay. Guillermo, what about you? And in number um, number thirteen, mm -hmm. quiet, quiet and silent. Okay, here we have silent. Okay, sí, aquí es, no sé por qué en quince puse silent. I don't know why. Yeah, it's silent. Thank you. Okay, Daniel and Elias. Okay, Daniel, what number? Adjective number one. No te escuchamos bien, te escuchamos lejos. 
¿Y ahora? Ahora un poquito mejor. Ya todo que dice la tienda. Oh, yo, sí. Ah, no, no. Las que ahí se ya las tienen. Ok, no problem. Let's listen to Elias and Rosalie. No problem, Daniel. Number two. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, listen. Okay. Rosalie. And number seven. Mm -hmm. Optimist and hopeful. Hope, hopeful. Thank you. Okay, and uh, we go with Guillermo and Graciela. Ah, no, ya pasaste, ¿verdad? Bueno, dime una, Guillermo, please, no problem. Uh, cheap, inexpensive. Thank you, that's it. Graciela. Her. Number 11, and impolite, then mm -hmm. impolite and rude. Number oh, 11. Thank you. Yeah, rude. Okay, Jose, what about you? Um, and I guess, teacher, um, strange, peculiar, peculiar. Mm -hmm. Peculiar, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karina, you have yours. Number one, plan, happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here we have clever, intelligent. Okay, and here we have these uh, adjectives and synonyms. And we're going to work tomorrow with uh, opposites or antonyms. Okay. Let's move to uh, the speaking activity. Do you often argue? And we have just 30 minutes and 30 minutes terminamos. Okay. Let's move. We're going to start with Gustavo and then Teresa. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, DJ. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I usually discuss at work with my boss to worry on some work to, to be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. At work because some things they have to be done. Okay, thank you. Uh, Teresa, and then we go with Marita. Um, I. If, bueno, every day I argue with my boss because she often were, was screaming and yeah, stressed. Yeah, very um, stressed. That's terrible. Very, and very that's tense. Too bad. Too bad. Okay. And that's. I can imagine the environment every day is difficult. It's stressful, right? Sometimes it could be, uh, no sé, peor. It's, oh, okay. Usually it's bad, but sometimes uh -huh. it's worse, peor, worse. Okay. okay. Well, I'm okay. so sorry, Teresa. I, I hope that maybe you can improve your environment or sometimes we have to change environments, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, well, because the mental health, the salud mental, so yeah, important. Yeah. So important. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, Teresa. Very nice. And we go with Maritza and then David. In my case, I never argue at work, but I always 
argue at home with my brother okay. because they are very messy. I, I understand that they are messy. They don't order things. So sometimes when you want to clean the house or to have everything in order, it's difficult with messy yeah. people. I understand. Yeah. Thank you, Marika. Okay, and David, and then we go with Elias. I do not like to art, but sometimes I do have to do it at a work when there are difficult decisions to make. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there are some limits or ex extreme situations in which you have to take the decision. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, David. Good point, Elias. Hi. Uh, hi. I don't normally argue, but when I argue, I don't give for war with my core words and obligation that are not done in a stable time mm -hmm. just in some cases like in obligation thank you very much yes. okay perfect Anna Cristina I don't know if you're there Claudia I don't know if you're there for your opinion Graciela Marvin or maybe they are not connected Doris I don't know Peter. if Doris Hello. No, Graciela. <laughs> uh, Graciela, yes, tell me. Mm -hmm. What about you? In my case, I usually argue at work when I'm explaining why we should buy X product and my colleague tell me they don't want that. Mm -hmm. So you have like opposite opinions. You have different opinions and so yeah sometimes uh, it can lead to argue okay thank you thank you Graciela thank you all for your opinions uh, all your points of view are important okay let's study how to use can and could okay how to use can and could in this case we can we have this um, sentences affirmative in negative equation, okay? I will need you to help me reading this. Uh, Noe, please, I need you to help me reading the first, the one, sentence one and number two, please. Okay. I can, view, I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. Thank you very much. Okay, Katia, please, let's go with could. Sentence one and two. Okay, you could try with another credit card. They mm -hmm. I couldn't give you, you my blink dresses. Billing address, thank you. Okay, Guillermo, please, uh, question three and four. And then we go with Maritza. Okay. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? Perfect. Thank you. Uh, related to customer service, if you notice, right? Mm -hmm. Asking for information. Thank you. Maritza, uh, question three and four. Would you spell your last name? Would we check the details? of my order thank you very much okay in here we're going to complete the questions with can and could okay um here we have some characteristics okay these words in this case these words are pronounced without o and without L, la letra O y la L no se pronuncian. Could, should, would. 
Okay, so these are modal auxiliaries, son auxiliares modales. But we're going to focus on in and good before we go to the other part. I need to check this. If you can have a screenshot of this, because this is really important. Okay, here we have in and could. In significa puedes. Yo puedo, tú puedes, o puedes tú, puede él. Could significa dos cosas. We have two meanings for could. Number one, podría. Quiere decir que él podría hacer eso, ella no podría hacer eso. O una pregunta, ¿podrías trabajar el lunes? Could you work on Monday? Could you work on Sunday? ¿Podrías trabajar el domingo? Okay. So, um, the other meaning for could is the past of can. En la otra forma para utilizar could es eh, para el pasado de can. Ejemplo. I can work on Monday. I'm sorry. I can't work on Monday. Negativo. No puedo trabajar el lunes. Y la otra sería, I couldn't work on Monday. No pude trabajar el, el lunes. Look. Okay. La primera es, no puedo trabajar el lunes. Y la siguiente es, no pude o no podía trabajar el lunes. Así que could tiene dos, eh, tiene dos funciones. La primera es que suene más amable. Can poder, podría, posibilidad. Ojo con esto. If you are asking a question, can you give me your phone number? Puedes darme de tu número de teléfono. Es diferente de could you give me your phone number? Podrías darme tu número de teléfono. If you use could, it sounds polite. Suena muy amable. Okay. Así que prácticamente. Sería el uso. Vamos a utilizar ahorita oraciones para can y para could. ¿Ok? Eh, structure, la estructura es bastante fácil. Súper fácil, ¿verdad? Lógica. Digamos, can, que ya lo conocen, y el could. Pero el negativo, can, could, quien pregunta, can I, can you, could you. ¿Ok? So, uh, in this activity, we have, vamos a hacer una pregunta con can you y una pregunta con could you. Ok. Can you and could you. Por ejemplo, can you work on Sunday? And could you work on Sunday. Puede ser la misma. La única diferencia sería el could. ¿Ok? Can, could. Please. Everyone, write two questions. Escriban dos preguntas. Pueden ser, if they can be the same, or similar, or different. Pueden ser similares o diferentes. ¿Ok? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds.
Okay, let's listen to your questions. We're going to start with Daniel. Okay, Daniel, please. And then we go with Guillermo. Could you read your sentence, please? Okay, maybe Daniel has problems. No, no. Okay. Okay, Daniel. Uh, can you move the table? And could you return? Perfect. Thank you, Daniel, Guillermo, and Adi. Okay. Can you call me later? Could you call me later? Perfect. Adi and Graciela. Okay, teacher. Can you sleep on the couch? Call if you sleep on the couch, please. Ver aquí está castigando, Adi. Graciela and Elias. Can you give me a glass of water? Could you give me a glass of water? That's it. Thank you, Elias and Maritza. Can you attend class tonight? Could you attend class tonight? Yeah. Maritza and Noé. Can you help, help me with the homework? Could you help me with the homework? Yes, that's it. Noé and Oscar. Can you give me your phone number? Could you give me your phone number? Yeah, that's it. Oscar and Rosalie. Can you give me an option? Could you give me an option? That's it. Thank you. Rosalie and Katia. Can you give me an apple? Could you give me an apple? Thank you. Katia and Adi oh, and John. Can you play the guitar? Could you play the guitar? Could. Yeah, that's it. John and David. Can you can you mention the number from one to ten? Could mm -hmm. you mention the number from one to ten? That's it. Okay. And David and Rivas. Can can I drink coffee, please? Or mm -hmm. I drink coffee, please. Thank you. Okay, Rivas and Gustavo. Can you let me a share? Could you open the door? Yeah, that's it. Gustavo and Evelyn. Okay. Can you come to my house? Could you come to my house? Yes, that's it. Thank you, Evelyn. I could read a two. Can you bring me to show? Two. Okay. Yeah, can you bring me to shows? Okay, can and could you bring me? Okay, we are about to finish just for 10 minutes. Doris, Doris, are you there? Good evening. Hello, could you read your sentences, please? Can you get me up early? And could you get me up early? Thank you, cool, mm -hmm. very nice. That's it, okay, we're going to finish with uh, this practice. We're going to practice with uh, this conversation one and conversation two. If you notice, we have words in yellow. The words in yellow are considered like kind of difficult or because we are using in. For example, here we have conversation one, Amy and Todd. So Todd, are you good at sports? I'm pretty good at sports. I can play basketball and baseball. And I can run pretty fast, but I can't jump that high. Can you play soccer? No, I can't play soccer well, because I am not good at kicking the ball. Conversation two. Can you sing well? No, I can't sing at all. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well, though. He has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? Como la... la. Una pregunta que andaba por ahí. No, I can play an instrument either. I have no talent in music. Okay, the words in yellow are in. In. Okay, in. I. Kicking. At all. Ese es bien importante. At all. Terrible. Tough. Voice. Either. Okay, we're going to practice and we're going to come back for the attendance list, okay? 
please we can have a screenshot of this and we're going to practice just a couple of minutes See you in a moment, my friends. A couple of minutes and we finish. Okay. Let's practice a little bit. Hola.
Hello. No. Eh, lo siguiente se me apagó la compu. No problem. Aquí esperamos. Ok. Okay, my friends, welcome back. Maybe we can have participation. John, can you help us, please? Who was your classmate? Um, with Doris, I oh. think. Doris, are you there? Yes. Okay, conversation one or two. Okay, Doris, let's go. Okay. So, Todd, are you good at sport? I am pretty good at sport. I can play basketball and baseball and I can run pretty fast, but I can jump that height. And play soccer well, because I am not good at kicking the ball. Yeah, not okay. at kicking the ball. Thank you. Very nice. Maybe we can have Adi with conversation number two. Perfect, teacher Katia. Okay. Okay. Can you sing well? No, I can't sing well. I have a terrific voice. My friend can sing very well, so she has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't. I can't play an instrument. Hey, I have no talent in music. Okay, thank you very much, my friends. And remember that uh, on Monday, because we have a day like uh, a difference, we're going to finish unit number two. Vamos a terminar el lunes con la unidad dos. I recommend you to start completing the tasks so you're not going to have accumulated homeworks, okay? So go ahead and take advantage of the weekend. You can work on Saturday because I'm going to check the grades on Monday. El lunes voy a revisar las tareas, so you can do it. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please don't disconnect until I finish the list. No, no se desconecten todavía. Here we go with Adi. Hi. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Ana Cristina. I don't know if she's there. Elias. Present teacher. Good night. Elias. Thank you. Present teacher, good night. Very nice. Uh, Claudia, I don't know if you're there. Daniel. Present. Perfect. David. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Doris. Present. Okay. And Evelyn. Okay. Ok, Evelyn, te quedas unos minutos ahora al finalizar la clase, ¿ok? Thank you. Graciela. Ok, And Guillermo. Present teacher. Very nice. José Andrés. Present teacher. Perfect. John. I am here and good night and see you tomorrow, everybody. Ok, see you tomorrow, Katia. Present teacher. Nice. Maritza. Present. Good night. Good night. Marvin. I don't know. Marvin disappeared. Okay. Noé. Okay. Gustavo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Oscar. Present. Good night. Thank you, Noé. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Rosalie. Present and good night. Good night, and Teresa. Okay, my friends, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, Bye everybody. Ok, Evelyn, um, vamos a ver, and we're going to check this. 
tienes, has tenido un, un par de, de, de dificultades para conectarte, ¿verdad, Evelyn? Sí, no sé si podría, no sé, algún repaso de esas dos, creo que dos noches fueron las que no pude, entonces, o tres, no sé, dos por ahí, creo yo, si lo fueron. No sé si me puede dar como quizás algún repaso de esas dos clases en las que no estuve para ahí guiarme un poquito. Ok, sí, pero ¿cómo estás con tus horarios y, y todo eso? O sea, hoy sí vas a estar un poquito más activa o vas a tener dificultades. Es que por, por cuestión de la lluvia es que me, me, me desconectaba, me volvía a conectar, me sal, entonces no, no me podía conectar, uh -huh. sinceramente. Ajá, no, porque yo siempre igual, o sea, vea, siempre o sea, estoy con los horarios del año, el ciclo, perdón, el módulo pasado. No me pasaba eso, no sé. O sea, me imagino que por temas de lluvia, porque cuando llega súper fuerte no se escucha y se va la señal. Entonces, como que es raro. Por okay. esa situación no he podido ajá, conectar, pero ahorita no, ya no, hasta no ha llovido. Menos mal. <ríe> ok, ok, no problem. Pero... Ok, vamos a revisar entonces, déjame ver. Creo que hay uno más que todo. Uno que po podemos revisar. ¿Qué es? Déjame ver. Ok, esta es una clase que tú no estuviste. Ok. Vale, vamos a ver acá. Entonces... Uh... Estuvimos eh, viendo lo del be going to. En esta clase tú no estuviste, estuve revisando. Así que eh, se trata de lo siguiente. Um, el going to es una estructura gramatical que sirve para expresar el futuro. ¿Ok? okay. Entonces se trata de que vas a utilizar el verb be. ¿Verdad? Eh, y vas a utilizar también, aparte del verb be, vas a utilizar el going to, y después vas a utilizar cualquier verb, ¿ok? Entonces, si te das cuenta, aquí el positivo dice, I'm going to, ¿verdad? I am, como el verb be. Luego, the airline is going to, y el verbo. Luego, your packages are going to. Y así sucesivamente. Las negativas eh, es igual, solo que van a llevar la palabra not. ¿Ok? Así que vamos a hacer unos ejercicios. Por ejemplo, puede ser I am going to watch TV. ¿Ok? Ahora vamos a hacer esa, pero en negativo. I am not going to watch TV. TV. ¿Ok? Necesito que en el chat tú me hagas una oración. Puede ser con el mismo. I am. O si tú quieres, puedes escribir eh, con she, pero solo sería she is going to watch TV. Es igual, si te das cuenta. Lo único que cambia es el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Eh, veamos aquí en el chat si, si me puedes hacer una oración affirmative y una negative.
¿Ya la tienes, Evelyn? ¿Ya tienes la oración? Ok. Te espero un momento. Sería así. Sería así, fija. Vamos a ver, Evelyn. Eh, Quiero ver. Yes. Así es. Ahora, la negativa solo que va a llevar not después del I'm. Muy fácil. Ya viste, ¿verdad? no está nada complicado. Ajá, entonces solo decimos I'm. Not going to do homework. Y en el caso de, si vamos a hacer con she, mira, she is going to do homework. Ahora, la negativa para esta sería she is. Y la palabra, ¿cuál es la palabra negativa, Evelyn? Not, ¿verdad? Sí. She is not. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora. Para la pregunta, solo sería lo siguiente. Vamos a, agregar, vamos a agarrar la oración afirmativa y vamos a tomar el verbo to be y lo vamos a poner al inicio. Ejemplo, solo quitamos el is. Lo ponemos al inicio. Y eso. Ya está la pregunta. En el caso de am. Damos am, lo ponemos al inicio. Y mira, ya está la pregunta. Ya ves, no es muy complicado, es, es bastante práctico, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta es la estructura que, 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 que sí de, debería de... Porque es la, la que va a salir en las tareas. Sí, sí. Solo le, déjeme, le tomo captura. Ah, ok. Ok. Te lo voy a poner así mejor. Permítame. Ok, esta es la afirmativa. ¿Quién le toma captura a esto? Y este es el ejemplo. Ok. Afirmativa. Negativa. Y la pregunta, ya con eso ya tienes una buena noción para hacer las tareas y eh, que no tengas complicaciones. Ok. Ok. Excelente. Entonces, Evelyn, eh, espero que podamos contar con, con, con una mejor señal en las próximas clases porque solo nos faltan 13 clases, ¿ok? Ya estamos por terminar la unidad 2, ¿ok? Así que ánimo a, a ponerte al día con las tareas y cualquier cosa me escribes en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Okay. Muchas gracias. Excelente. Pase feliz noche. Bye bye.